My name is Colleen Day. I'm a conservator uh, working for Parks Canada in the Atlantic region. If you do a risk assessment on the petroglyphs, there's two factors that are affecting them. One is people, because they're very, very subtle on the rock. So it's really easy to drag a canoe over them or decide that you're going to scratch your own initials in them or decide to do a rubbing of the ones you can see uh, and not know that you're damaging it. So we try and protect them from that by uh, keeping people away, except when they're with a guide, and doing an education effort to make sure that people know that they're there and they know how important they are. The other factor that's affecting them is the environment. Um, and that's more difficult to protect them against and keep them where they are. So what we've done is we have recorded them really, really thoroughly, and we treat the recordings as if they're an original artifact. So we have a permanent archival record of the petroglyph at when that was done. For instance, in, most of them were done in the 80s, and we have a, an archival copy in the form of a copper plate. People have asked me for years how fast the petroglyphs are fading. And a year and a half ago, um, I finally had an inkling of one way that we might be able to tell that. As part of their talk, the tour guides tell people why they're not allowed to do rubbings. So somebody brought in rubbings that they had done when they were a child. Now, the note that came with it said that they were done in the 60s, but they very intelligently rubbed a penny when they did it. So I can tell from the rubbing on this penny that it was actually done in 73. Um, and it includes this very famous image of the caribou. And I have this one as a rubbing in 73, but I also have it as the mylar tracing in 83. Now, if I get those two images completely lined up and I flip back and forth between them, I can see that there's one more line in this caribou from 73 than there is in the caribou from 83, which tells me that in that 10 years, how much has been fading. And if we had more of the rubbings, I think that we could tell more about how fast they're fading. It has another consequence in that it made me realize that the mylars not only document the image, but they're also um, time sensitive. So they're exactly what the image was in 83. And that means that we should keep them in an archival storage situation as well, because they provide information that you can't get from the rock today.